Hi, my name is Hudson Rowe, and I'm here to present to you Sharp Action today, Olympics first Vegas style sports bar and grill. So Sharp Action is looking to lease out a property um, in the depot district, basically, off of Buddy Holly. Um, the location is 4,300 square feet. Um, it has a really big patio um, for spring and fall days, I guess, tailgate season and whatnot. Um, and the inside is fairly large as well. You can see the picture right here. Um, a lot of room for tables and booths and whatnot. And then the bar actually wraps around uh, the corner interior of the venue itself. So the concept is basically um, to be Lubbock's first Vegas style sports bar. Um, it's gonna be very close to Texas Tech, um, having to attract a lot of students and fans and whatnot. Um, and it's also the only sports bar uh, on Buddy Holly. So it's a nice little, little niche market, I guess. Uh, so the service style is going to be casual dining. Um, as you can see, the check prices, I guess, kind of go up as you get later into the day and people start drinking more. Um, our mission statement is to make great food, better drinks at the best prices. So the target market um, is essentially college students and sports fans, I guess but mainly college students. There are very few bars around campus, I guess you could say, that you could go in and watch the Cowboys game and the Giants game and the, say, Patriots game. Um, so we're trying to, I guess, basically have a place to where you can watch everything at once, if you so desire. Uh, so the competitive advantages, it's, it's the first sports bar in the Depot District. Um, it's located near the university. Many students will have low pri price drinks, a lot of specials running throughout the week and whatnot too to get people in. Um, and very high margins on food. Uh, so the structure is gonna include basically a sole proprietorship, so myself um, looking for about $750,000 loan um, from a local bank though in Lubbock. Try to keep the money in Lubbock. Um, we'll have one general manager, four shift managers, 10 waiter and waitresses, four bartenders, and five cooks. Uh, so as you can see, the menu is pretty short and sweet. Um, fairly good amount of appetizers. Uh, also have burgers, chicken sandwiches, things like that, as well as like wings, a um, few desserts, and then drinks as well. Um, so there's and just about every domestic bottle drink you can have, uh, as well as imports, and then a variety of mixed drinks. So. Uh, the restaurant design is gonna follow basically the tech color scheme, so red and black. Um, a little bit of brown in it too, some leather seating and whatnot, things like that. Um, there will be booths lining the walls of the restaurant where the bar isn't located. Um, and then basically high tops kind of in the middle. Um, and then, yeah, the bar will be lined with TVs um, and the kitchen's actually separated towards the back, so you have the double doors and whatnot, so no one will really see the kitchen. Uh, and the financial projections, so the food cost is at 81%, while the, or the liquor cost are gonna be at uh, 18. The labor will be at 30% with the revenue. Um, and after being calculated out, the turnover rate is 3.36 years. So investment details, um, I'm going to need a loan of $750,000. Um, and the reasons to invest are it's first sports bar in the depot district, very high profit on food, low drink prices, and a popular college spot for students. So thank you for your time.